Hi everyone, welcome to part two of how to create mockups for your Canva designs. For my during my previous blog post and my previous tutorial, I, I did show you um, how to simply create um, your own device mockup inside Canva. But this time we are gonna talk about and I'm gonna show you how you can do not just device mockups but numerous other mockups using the smart, the smart mockup integration inside Canva. So we'll, if you guys are aware, um, smart mockups is a program or a software where you can easily create your mockups from mugs, um, devices, without having to learn Photoshop or without having to learn the more complicated platforms, you know, less of the learning curve, easy, fast, efficient, and one way for you to showcase your products using mockups, you know, with, you know, with less stress and all. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use one of um, my photo graphics. Um, so this, these are the graphics that I have posted on my social media pages. Um, if you're not following me yet, you can follow me at Instagram at Lovely Abbott. So that's L O V E L Y A B B O T T. And I'm also in Facebook, Lovely Abbott Virtual Solutions. And I have a website, lovelyabbott.com. So I hope you guys see you there and connect with you all. So this time um, for this tutorial, I'm going to choose, let's say, um, Let's say I'm going to choose um, image three and put it in a mock. -up. So what you're going to do is click on this like arrow button right here. And usually this won't show up. So um, let's say click on that button. And then when you scroll down, you'll see a couple of integrations that Canva currently has. But the most common or the very common integration that I use is smart mockups because this is perfect when I design um, graphics for clients or when I design digital products for clients it's super easy for me to create the mockups without having to download everything in PNG and then open my Photoshop and do everything there. Of course, um, there's much more you can do using Photoshop, but if you want to create a, you know, super easy and super fast mockups, then you all should sign up for smart mockups. When you sign up for smart mockups, you'll get a, I think a 14 day free trial. I'm not sure about that yet, but um, I do have a free account and I am one of the smart mockups brand, I mean brand ambassador. So, uh, but yes, I do have a free account and I've been using it since last year for my business and for my clients. So you just go ahead and go to smartmockups.com, create your account and smart mockups has been coming up with lots of features and I'm pretty sure that there will be more. Um, customizations that will go on in the future updates but for now I'm just going to show you how to create a mockup for this third graphic that I have so I click on smart mockup and then when I go save it will render it for you you know you just get to wait until it renders and says your design has been saved and then view in smart mockups and when that pops up you're there in the Smart Mockups uh, homepage. So right here, there are a couple of options. When they say premium, this is for a paid account. So since I have the free account, um, I'll just use all the free elements, I mean, the free uh, mockups available. So um, for this graphic, I would love to see it in a probably multiple devices. And you can actually just, you know, it automatically renders the design for you. You have an option to choose only the Windows devices or maybe choose all for that category. And 
you choose uh, free since I have a free account so I'll choose all the free um, mockups and then we'll go from there and so let's see what I'm gonna use maybe I could maybe I want to use this one an iMac and an iPad and I can I can adjust it recenter it or maybe make it a little smaller to make it look better on the ipad and actually it has a space on top and space on the bottom which actually doesn't matter because it looks pretty as it is so i'll just go crop and continue and from there you can actually um uh save it on your um save it on your account on your smart mockup account and you have the option also to download it so when you download it it will render a png and i like to download it as a transparent png see this one is transparent png because i have you know i have the flexibility and more freedom to put it and overlay it in a colored or a different background um, for my clients and whichever elements that they want me to use but i have the you know i have the png file or the transparent png file the mockup so i can use it anywhere but this time they do have a customization um feature right here which you can customize your your, your scene when you click on customize your scene you can actually click on um uh, this brush right here um, so this brush will click on the colors and if you have a custom color you can um, enter here your brand color maybe my brand color is a little bit of a lighter gray slate uh, type of gray so I think it's f4 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 so see it automatically pops up for you and if you don't want it just you know go back to whatever or go back to the to the transparent png file and um you can also um if you have the paid account you can also um crop it and do a add a new preset or add a customized um, dimension for your for whatever project you're working on so when you do the when you click on the customize you will also have an an option to add your logo so or add the logo um add the branding so right there there's some like my small uh, logo there which i need to edit it and make sure that i put it right over here but you have the option to turn it on and turn it off and this logo right here is just the apple logo you have the option to not show it and show it at the same time you also have the option to upload a different photo as a background or upload from your computer so from there you can download it as a png and a jpeg and use it anywhere or maybe you'll upload it back to canva right you'll upload it back to canva and then use it for your post of your blog posts and for other graphics purposes that you have for your business so that's it for now and my next tutorial would be about creating your own custom mockups inside smart mockups and since smart and since smart mockups are um easy are already integrated in canva then you have the option to actually um just go straight to smart mockups and use your um use your custom mockups from there and then grab an image from your canva account which is pretty exciting so i will do a separate video for that and for now i hope this helps and i hope this will give you more opportunity to showcase your digital products, your services, and your programs using professional mockups. All right, guys, thanks for joining and see you on my next tutorial.